Hello and welcome. In this lesson, the formula for quadratic equation is used to solve different questions. The formula is x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a, where a is the value of the coefficient with x square, b is the value of coefficient with x, and c is the value of a constant. Now look at the question over here in which we have to use the quadratic formula to solve the equations. The first question given here is x squared plus 3x minus 5. Here the value of a is one as there is no coefficient or one with the x square value of b is equals to 3 as there is 3 with x and value of c is minus 5. Remember we take the sign here and the formula is x is equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2 a. Now we see, now we know the values of a, b and c. We simply put them here in the formula minus from the formula. The value of b is 3 plus minus under root value of b is 3 square minus 4 value of a is 1 and value of c is minus 5 divided by 2 a. On further solving we will have x is equals to minus 3 plus minus under root 9 and plus 20 as there is a minus sign and minus 5 was here so this minus minus become plus and it become 4 into 1 into 5 is 20 divided by 2 now we have x is equals to minus 3 plus minus root 29 over 2 now these are the two values as minus 3 plus root 29 over 2 and minus 3 minus root 29 over 2 and these are the values of x by using the quadratic formula. Now look at another question which is x square plus 6x plus 9 here the value of a is 1 as no other coefficient is written with x square so it means that the coefficient is 1. Value of b is 6 and value of c is 9. The formula is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Here b is 6 plus minus b square which is 6 square minus 4, a is 1 and c is 9 divided by 2a. The value of a is 1. Now we have minus 6 plus minus 6 into 6 is 36 minus 4 into 9 is also 36 divided by 2 or x is equals to minus 6 plus minus 0 as 36 minus 36 is 0 and root 0 is 0 divided by 2. So our answer become x is equals to minus 6 over 2 or you can say that x is equals to minus 3. We can say that minus 3 is a repeated root because the factor b square minus 4ac becomes 0. So this is a repeated root. And this is the answer of our question.
Look at another question here, which is x square plus x plus 1. Here a is 1, b is also 1, and c is also 1. Now, we will put these values into a formula. And we have x is equal to minus b is 1 plus minus 1 square is also 1 minus 4 a is 1 and c is 1 divided by 2 multiply by 1. So we have minus 1 plus minus 1 minus 4 over 2 x is equal to minus 1 plus minus minus 3 over 2. Now we have minus 3 under the root and its value become 3 iota. So we can see that there is no solution of this equation as b square minus 4 ac value becomes negative. So we can see that there is no solution of this equation. Now we have another question 2x square plus 7x plus 3 here a is 2 as this is the value with x square and b is equals to 7 and c is equals to 3. Now we have formula minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a. Further solving we will have the value of b is 7 minus from the formula plus minus b square 7 square minus 4 a is 2 and c is 3 divided by 2 a. Now we have minus 7 plus minus 49 minus 4 into 2 24 divided by 4. Now we have minus 7 plus minus root 25 over 4 and here we have the value for root 25 which is 5 is the root of 25. Now we have minus 7 plus 5 over 4 and minus 7 minus 5 over 4. Now we have the values of x as minus 2 over 4. Minus 12 over 4 which becomes minus 1 over 2 and minus 3. So we have solved the four different type of questions. The first one in which the answer comes in the certs or root form. The second one in which the expression b square minus 4 ac becomes 0. And the answer is in the form of repeated root. Third one, in which the expression b square minus 4ac has a negative value and there is no solution of the equation. And the fourth one, in which the answer comes out in an integer form. Now look at another question in which we have to use the value of discriminant b square minus 4ac. To determine whether the equation has two roots, one root or no root. As we can see from this formula, if the value is positive, so we can calculate its square root and we have two roots. One for the plus value and one for the negative value. If this expression has zero value, then we don't have two roots as for the zero plus minus don't apply and we only have the value of minus b over 2a which is which means that we have one root and if this expression has a negative value then the solution is not possible or we don't have us any solution so we can see that we have no roots so for the positive value of b square minus 4ac, we have two roots. 
for the negative value of my b square minus 4ac we have no solution or no roots and for the value of b square minus 4ac is equals to 0 we have one root now let's start solving the questions here we have a question x square minus 3x minus 5 here the value of a is 1 b is minus 3 and c is minus 5 we know we have to use the discriminant b square minus 4ac in order to evaluate that either it has 1, 2 or 0 roots. So here the value of b is minus 3 square minus 4, a is 1 and c is minus 5. So we have minus 3 into minus 3 is 9. Minus minus become plus and 4 into 5 is 20. So we have the value of b square minus 4ac is equals to 29 and it is a positive value. So we can say that it has two roots. So this equation has two roots. Now look at another question, x square plus 2x plus 1. Here the value of a is 1, b is 2 and c is equals to 1. We have to find out the value of expression b square minus 4ac. So b is 2 square minus 4, a is 1 and c is also 1. Here 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 into 1 into 1 is 4. So we have 0. So if b square minus 4ac is 0, we know that we only have one root which is also called a repeated root. Here we have another question x square minus 3x plus 4. The value of a is 1, b is minus 3 and c is 4. Always take care of the sign. We are taking it here as minus 3. Now the expression which we have to find out the value for is b square minus 4ac. Here b is minus 3 square minus 4. A is 1 and C is 4. Now we have 9 minus 16. It becomes minus 7. As the value for the expression B square minus 4 AC becomes negative. So we can say that there is no roots or no solution for this equation. Now look at another question which is x square plus p x minus q. Here it is already mentioned that the value of p and q is positive. So let's start solving this question. We have a is equals to 1, b is equals to p and c is equals to minus q. Here the value of b and c is also given in the variable form. So we have expression b square minus 4ac. Further solving we will have the value of p is p. So it becomes p square minus 4 value of a is 1 and value of c is minus q. So it becomes p square minus minus plus 4q. Alpha we don't know the value of p and q but it is already mentioned that the value of p and q is positive. So whatever the value of p and q the whole answer or the end result is positive. So we can say that this equation has two roots. As when we put the value of p and q which is positive we will have a positive answer. And for the positive value of b square minus 4 ac expression, we have two roots. Thank you for watching.